Marissa Baglione. I knew you were special from the first time that I saw you. Something deep inside of my soul screamed at me and telling me that the search for my mate was totally over. I had been led astray many times in the past and I was hesitant to believe it at first, but as the days went by, that doubt faded away. You've become my best friend, my partner, my sidekick, my confidant, and my love. I see nothing else to do but accept to I see nothing else better to do about this except to offer you myself for the rest of our lives. From this day forward, I promise that all that I am and all that I ever will be will be yours. I promise to always love you no matter what, whether we are rich or poor or sick or healthy, I will always be by your side and always support your decisions. I will always respect and honor you, and I pledge to be a godly health head of our household and to not steer us down the wrong path. I know I will fall short, but I know I'll always do my best to be the man that you deserve. I am short of breath, standing next to you. I am out of my depth at this altitude. Nicole told me many times that if he wants you, he'll come and get you. <laughs> I never believed her. I always thought it was something she made up to make me feel better. And to be honest, it only made me more disappointed. I told her that I've been told that there's someone out there who will love and appreciate me. I mean, you know, you'll just know. And people all around me were getting married to their best friends. And there I, I was always the bridesmaid with a hamster at home waiting for me. And <laughs> secretly jealous. Yeah. I thought <laughs> Still is. I thought God had forgotten about me. I thought he didn't create someone special for me. I thought I'd never find that perfect person for me because you didn't exist. I thought I'd have to settle for someone. But God saved the best for last. I met you. You would not take no for an answer. You tried and tried, and I finally let you call me on the phone. You had me wrapped around your finger when you said hi and made me feel calm. I was thinking of a million excuses not to meet you after our long conversations, mm -hmm. and you shut up at the bakery anyway. <laughs> <laughs> then to get me to leave and go outside to the real world with you was a whole other bridge for you to cross. I must have told you a dozen times, ending up in food line, going down every <laughs> single aisle. You are a man on a mission and stopped at nothing, just like Nicole said. You wanted me, and you sure got me. It only took getting to the soda aisle. I am so grateful that I am standing here right now across from you. Clearly, God didn't forget about me. He was waiting for the perfect time to meet, for us to meet, and everything fell into place. You are my missing puzzle piece. Every wrong turn, every roadblock, every path has brought us right here, right now. You were created just for me. You were my soulmate. You were my best friend. You were more than I could ever ask for. I promise to take care of you when you are sick or feeling blue. I promise to love you. I promise to treat you with love and respect as you do me. I promise to be your biggest fan. <laughs> but you are beautiful like I 